Dear friends, welcome to Code Basics Coding Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to share data between two processes in Python. Now, if you have gone through my multiprocessing introduction tutorial, uh, you have already seen a problem when you try to share a global variable between two processes. I'm going to revisit the same problem here once again. So in this program, I have a list of numbers and I, I'm creating a new process here, which is just calculating the square of all those numbers. And it is putting the result back into this result global variable. So you can see here, I have a global result and it is referring to this variable. Okay. And once I am done with my processing, I am printing the value of that variable inside my process and also outside the process. Okay. Now, when I run my program, what happens is inside the process values look okay. So I have two, three, five, their square number is four, nine, 25. Pretty good. But outside the process, when I try to print the same exact variable, I see blank. Now, why is that? So if you remember from our introduction tutorial, whenever you create a new process, the new process will get its own address space, address space, meaning the space where it stores all the variables, etc. So what happens is, as you can see in the diagram, on the left hand side, I have a parent process, which has a result global variable. But when you create a child process, which is shown on the right hand side, the memory for this global variable will be copied. So now I have a separate copy uh, of result variable. Hence, when you up, when you run your calculate square function, it is only updating the copy in the child process. OK, so this is the problem. Now, how to solve this issue? How to solve this issue of sharing data between two processes? Well, there is a way. The way is to use shared memory. So as you can see in the diagram, uh, when you use shared memory, the memory lives outside the processes. Hence, you can access it and it will uh, print the result for you. So let's use that memory here in our program. Now, there are two ways of using shared memory. One is value, another is array. So in this program, I'm going to use array first and then I'll show you how to use value. So first, let's create a shared memory variable. Now shared memory variable is different than your regular variable. So you have to use multiprocessing.array here. Now here, the first thing is you specify your data type. So my data type here is integer, okay? And then you specify your size. So my size is three because I have three numbers here. So my result is gonna have three. And then I will pass down this shared memory into my process. Okay, so my process has one more variable called result. So let me remove this global variable because it's anyway not working now shared memory has a different set of methods so append is not part of the method list so append is not going to work okay so we have to use a simple index now to use simple index what you do is for idx n in enumerate so when you use this function you will always get the index and the value both okay so here i'm just saying result is equal to and cross n okay and i'm removing this here uh after that i'm just uh printing the result here all right let's run this Okay, here uh, it's not printing it. Okay, so we have to use a different method. So we'll just say, okay. So here I'm going to say result like this. This is uh, a way to print all the elements in an array. Okay. Excellent. So now you can see that we are printing it outside the process 
and it still printed the result fine. So you can use array this way to share uh, data between two processes. So it solved our problem. Now these two processes can exchange data using this sad memory variable called result. Okay. All right, let's go over value now. Uh, so for value, so value is similar to array, but it's just a single value. Okay, so you can create value like this. I'm going to create a double variable on shared memory and assign a value 0.0. .0. And when I pass this to my child process here, I'm going to receive it as uh, an argument in this function. And here, I will say value dot value. Now maybe we can just change this variable name to be V. I'm going to just assign some arbitrary value, okay? And here you can print that value, V dot value. So as you can see that in our child in our parent process, we are creating a value variable on shared memory. We are passing that to a different process here, which is setting the value. And then back to our parent process, it is printing the value here. Now, when you run this, see, it's working. Basically, the child process is updating the value and still the parent process is able to access the same value, okay? So this was all about values and array. There are in fact other ways of sharing data, which is Q and pipe, but we will cover those in the future tutorials. Okay, thank you for watching.